uh, let's take this discussion forward and understand what the impact could be. First up, what whatever changes have been announced on the FNO side, Sriram Vilayudan, Vice President, Alternative Research, IFL Securities, is joining us on the phone line. Uh, Sriram, good afternoon. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, well, first up on the FNO changes, are they in line with what was expected earlier? And what kind of impact would do you see in terms of FNO additions or deletions, if any? Yeah, hi, good afternoon. So, uh, yesterday late evening, uh, uh, SEBI released the uh, much awaited uh, revised uh, FNO eligibility framework. The broad contours of the uh, new rules remain the same. Contours in the sense, uh, in terms of uh, the criteria like uh, liquidity, quarter sigma, market wide position limit, deliverable value, and all, the criteria have been changed. But the threshold for uh, inclusion and exclusion has gone significant, uh, has undergone significant change. In terms of uh, quarter sigma, it has been raised from 25 lakhs to 75 lakhs. Market wide position limit from 500 crores to 1500 uh, rupees, 1500 crores, and deliverable value from 10 crores to 35, 35 crores. Additionally, uh, one more criteria which is usually used for uh, uh, testing the liquidity of the index uh, derivatives has been uh, incorporated for uh, stock derivatives as well. Uh, this is called the PSF framework. So basically, the liquidity will be checked um, across futures and options, as well as the open interest structures. Structure will be checked uh, whether to uh, assessing whether that uh, stock after the introduction in uh, futures and option uh, uh, is is liquid or, or not. Overall, uh, looking at the revised framework, the objective ha the objective is here to rationalize the framework in the sense. Uh, over a period of time, this is the liquidity, whether the stock sustains or not in the f space. Hmm. Sriram, good afternoon. Thank you for joining in. One of the objectives here is that the fact that this revision that has been made is to prevent manipulation and to ensure a lower risk to the system. But could you elaborate more on this as to how will this ensure that there is a lesser risk to manipulation simply because there is a criteria revision, would that lead to a lesser risk of manipulation? No, but in terms of in terms of uh, manipulation, I think the criteria is like quarter sigma, deliverable value, and all takes care of these elements, because the the very fact that uh, as you mentioned the the concept of if there is if there is uh, manipulation in like you know in comes into picture. Uh, the threshold of raising the factors like quarter sigma and deliverable value should address these issues. At the same time, uh, the very fact, uh, the very, very concept of market wide position limit is a part of uh, free float has to be there in the specific name at the end of the specific month. I think uh, the, uh, somewhere down, somewhere down the line, these factors are. Uh, already getting getting uh, were getting addressed in terms of selecting the stocks post additions a lot depend on what the price action in the stock is but if you look at the eligibility criteria somewhere uh, in an inner, inherent manner these factors are getting addressed okay all right you know i was uh, going to ask you as i asked you earlier as well uh, any big names which are expected after these changes to be in the fno and subsequently in the September Nifty review, do you expect them to come there as well? Or these uh, new norms would change what you had uh, assumed earlier? Sure. So, basis the revised criteria, uh, we did some analysis. So, at this juncture, uh, so thing, the, the way it works is in terms of the eligible candidates, uh, it depends on the uh, discretion of the concerned authorities. In terms of uh, stocks that will get deleted from the futures and options, there is a fixed framework. Let's say if a specific stock is not fulfilling the criteria for three consecutive months, it should it should move out of the uh, So when we uh, implemented the revised criteria um, on the existing universe, we find uh, we found uh, 64 to 66 names are the uh, have have. Uh, Potential to get introduced in FNO over a period of time, and roughly 24 to 30 names uh, uh, might get deleted uh, if the if they don't improve on the improve improve in terms of the criteria that has been mentioned. Now, coming to your question of uh, Nifty eligibility, 
Uh, as I said, introducing a specific name in an FNO has an element of subjectivity. Those stocks like uh, Zomato, Geo Finance, and all in terms of the uh, eligibility criteria are right up there uh, across all the criteria in terms of liquidity, quarter sigma, market wide position limit, deliverable value, and all. So let's say currently the street is. Uh, so we have uh, two schools of thoughts in the sense. Uh, uh, currently, the street expectation for uh, Nifty September semi-annual review is um, a Trent and uh, Bharat Electronics in place of mm. DVs and LTI. Let's say in a hypothetical scenario, uh, Zomato and uh, Geo Financial Services get uh, introduced in FNO. These set of expectations can uh, undergo significant change. Like in that okay. case, uh, Geo Finance, Zomato, and Trent uh, will become eligible in place of DV's uh, uh, LTI, Mindtree, and Aisha Motors. So, a lot okay. depends on uh, the stocks that get introduced in SMO. As I said, it's totally subjective. All right, Sri Ram, we leave it at that. Thanks a lot for joining in, sharing with us your views on these important changes announced at the SEBI board meet yesterday. By the way, the market has uh, 